Member of Parliament, they need to hear from you and they need to hear from you quickly. We need to stop this extension of the war in Afghanistan. We need to talk to the Liberal Conservative Coalition and let them know that the vast majority of the Canadian people are opposed to extending this mission in Afghanistan. We're currently spending, and this is the figures that are coming from the Parliamentary Budget Officer, $3 billion is what's going to actually be needed for this uh, extension of the war in Afghanistan. That's $3 billion from taxpayers in this country that are going to prop up drug-running warlords in Afghanistan. And what are they doing with that money? They're not taking care of the tr troops with that money. When the troops get home, they are being told that they don't have rights to be able to get pensions, and they're being thrown onto the dust heap. We need to say support the troops, bring them home, and take care of them when they get here. Come on over though, grab yourself a sign, grab yourself a postcard, say no to the extension of the war in Afghanistan. All we're doing in that country right now is propping up a government that is uh, made up predominantly of drug warlords and uh, who uh, maintain themselves in power specifically through a set of fraudulent elections. There is a reason why training in Afghanistan is not working. Think about this for a second. We're into the 10th year of training people in a country where virtually everybody already knows how to shoot a gun. And yet they have not been able to train enough Afghan uh, troops and soldiers. And the reason why they have not done so is because the troops and the soldiers themselves in Afghanistan, the Afghans themselves, do not want to go out and get killed to support the NATO-supported warlord government. They refuse to do so. That's why they're deserting the army and the police at an incredible rate. On November 1st of this year in Ghazni province, an entire detachment of newly trained Afghan police moved into their newly minted police station, took the weapons, burned it to the ground, and joined the resistance movement. That money, that is money that is coming out of your pockets that's going over to Afghanistan, and it is being thrown into a huge, huge money pit so that the West can gain control of uh, secure energy corridors in Afghanistan, and that's what this is ultimately all about. Come on over, grab yourself a postcard, sign the petition, let your member of parliament know that you want to, don't extend it, end it. End it, end it, don't extend it. End it, don't extend it. End it, 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 end it, don't extend it. That's why we're out here today. Sign the petition, sign the postcard. We need to send a message loud and clear to the uh, Parliament of Canada that we do not support this extension of the war in Afghanistan, that we want all of the troops brought home now. End it, end it, don't extend it. End it, end it, don't extend it. So Stephen Harper is telling us that we have to support an extension of the war in Afghanistan to honor the sacrifices of Canadians who have already died there. The absurdity of suggesting that well, the way, best way to honor people who have been killed in Afghanistan is to make sure more people get killed in Afghanistan is not lost on the majority of the population in this country. It's an absurd notion. If we want to support the troops, we need to get them out of Afghanistan now. They obviously have no understanding of what's happening in Afghanistan right now. Kabul is considered a soft target by the resistance. There are attacks in Kabul happening all the time. In fact, Hamid Kars, I can't speak publicly in Kabul without rocket attacks coming in against him while he's out there. Under those circumstances, there are no safe places in Afghanistan. The resistance, according to the Pentagon itself, has a severe level of uh, what they call resistance um, in 97% of the country in Afghanistan. Let's put that into perspective. Ten years of uh, occupying Afghanistan, and so far NATO has secured roughly 3% of the country. We're now into the 10th year in Afghanistan, and 97% of the country is in the hands of resistance figures right now. And why is that happening? That's happening because people don't support the government that NATO has installed in Afghanistan. They don't support a government made up of corrupt, drug-running warlords who keep themselves in power through fraudulent elections. That's why the Afghan police and army are not growing. That's why they can't maintain the recruits, because no one has an appetite to fight in favor of a bunch of drug warlords who are building palaces in Kabul while people are starving in the streets. And so if you think that money that we are spending on the war in Afghanistan is going to go to help people there, you are sadly mistaken. The vast majority of that money goes straight into the pockets of the parliamentary warlords, straight into the pockets of the uh, civilian contractors, i.e. the mercenaries that are operating throughout the countryside in Afghanistan. That's why we're out here today. We need to send a message to Stephen Harper. We need to send a message to Bob Ray, who is in this uh, uh, city here and was the person who actually brokered the bloody deal, being the go-between between Lawrence Cannon and the U.S. ambassador, who is actually the one making the decision about what we do in Afghanistan. Sign a postcard here. Sign a petition. Send a message to the members of parliament. Tell them, don't extend it, end it. 
end it, end it, don't extend it. End it, end it, don't extend it. End it, end it, don't extend it. End it, end it, don't extend it. Well, end the occupation. Troops out now. End the occupation. Troops out now. End the occupation. Troops out now. This is a complete and utter waste of time and utter waste of money. And ultimately, what it is about is about the uh, United States being able to secure uh, energy corridors in Afghanistan. They've been after Afghan pipelines for decades. Back in the 1996, when the U.S. was supporting the Taliban takeover in Afghanistan, they did so because they thought the Taliban would provide enough stability to be able to build the Trans-Afghan Pipeline. It was also the first thing that Hamid Karzai did after being appointed the new president in Afghanistan, was to provide the go-ahead for a new pipeline project. We knew that this was going to happen. He had worked with Dick Cheney before, when Dick Cheney was at Unicall Corporation in California. And so in your money to go over there and to support the pillage of Central Asia. That's what Canada is doing in Afghanistan right now. So come on over, sign the postcard, sign the petition. Let them know you're saying, don't extend it, end it. Bring the troops home now.
probably lost hope, had a hard time believing it. Odds were set up, so I was trying to even it. The wrong time for everything, not even worth achieving it. So long, I'm not gonna leave it. Ever, Afghans for peace, people. We need to bring the troops home. This is their job. This is our country. We don't need them overseas. Peace cannot bring, sorry, war cannot bring peace. It's contradictory. It can't happen. Thank you, everyone. Bring our troops home. Bring our troops home! 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 No more war! 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 Bring our troops home! Bring our troops home! Bring the 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 troops home! End it, end it! Go extend it! End it, end it!